<clears throat> is his bottle broken or is it still intact? His bottle is fully intact. Okay. Hey, he's got a drink from it. Yeah. My question is, where the hell did you find this picture? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you'll be amazed what you find in, on uh, Google. So, I will tell you right now, the man has, you know, uh, some kind of hernia at his uh, belly button. So, since he's up first, he is going to go ahead and roll a stealth. Oh, God. I would hear his crinkling it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> So, as he makes makes a, a stealth check, I need you guys all to make a perception check. Perception. I hope his diaper isn't full. <laughs> what if his power depends on how full his diaper is? Yeah. Oh, come on. Can't out stealth me. I'm the master of it. I'm seeing you. Wait, it's uh, we're, we're rolling for what now? Perception. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Natty twenty. Nat twenty. Awesome. So everybody, but uh, I was gonna say this would have worked had that Nat twenty not appeared. But since uh, this guy was about to crawl back into the wand, Hagard, you were like, "Nope, I see you." So then he just walks over to you nice. and makes his attack. God damn it. <clears throat> Where did my combat track go? There it is. So he is going to target. to this music and he hit with this short sword for 23 damage for seven oh, okay. damage okay never mind i was about to say oh my god he, he goes for he, he just comes up to you pulls out a short sword from the bottle top and stabs you right in the shoulder <laughs> that's some one piece stuff right there <laughs> oh great okay it is your turn shing in 10 south <clears throat> I'm going to uh, move up. Uh, I'm gonna. How do you uh, how do you uh, act or how do you select the uh, target again? You hit control. Yeah, you hit control and then click the guy. Okay. I hope that works. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to. Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to first start going after him with the uh, Mystere. All right. As you as you go with the spear, it kind of gets wrapped up in the diaper. <laughs> okay. Damn. It's his armor. The best armor in D&D. <laughs> that diaper. An arm strike on him. I will make it a key blast. That hits. Suck my key blast with all of with the with the diaper and tell you kind of use it to, with the with your spirit and diaper you kind of use that to pull him in for that punch. Key blast to the face. And then hold up. Ooh, my desk is all messy. I just flicked. Oh, I only meant one. <laughs> Oh, did it throw one? Or did it threw two. It threw two. Well, how come everything works with double click and that's a one click? I don't no. know. Okay, take the five. Because <laughs> that was the first one. Okay. A key blast him to the face. As he as, as you do that, he just looks over at you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Edgar, your turn. Thank <laughs> you. 
My character has his uh, crossbow equipped, right? Yeah, you said you had your crossbow. Yeah, yeah, I you um. Can't switch free action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I try to shoot him in the in the the, the torso with it. Mm -hmm. I believe that's at disadvantage at, uh, when you're when you're doing close combat with a ranged weapon. Oh, is it? Ah, oh, damn. Hmm. Act, hmm. I won't attack then. Because he just... No, no, he attacked me. Fuck that guy. Yeah, I'm going to attack him. Yeah. Okay, so is it a disadvantage 2 or 5? Uh, disadvantage, you just hit the disadvantage button and then roll your dice. Oh, okay. It should say dis at the bot near the 1. Okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I do... What do I roll to attack? Uh, you'll go to your actions. Action. Oh, actions, okay. And then you'll hit the, the one with the dice first. You'll click oh. it and... You'll click okay. it, okay. double click it, or you'll just drag it over to the chat box. Either way, we'll make it work. Okay. Uh, did you see that one? Uh, no, it didn't. It didn't. Okay. Go. What about that one? No. Nothing. Are you are you dragging it to the chat box? Uh, yeah. Uh, go above. Go to where you like see people's dialogue. There it goes. Oh, it, it shut up two on my end, but whatever. Yeah, it, it, with disadvantage means you're going to take the lowest roll. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So with a seven, that's going to miss as you shoot, and he kind of just moves his body out of the way. Damn, what a badass. Okay. Can I uh, prep a reload, or is that it for my turn? I believe it's a... Not reloading. I, look I was going to say, oh wait, no, it's a light crossbow. Yeah, you can prep a reload. Okay. If it was a full crossbow, it takes a full turn to reload. Okay. I'm gonna um instead of prepping my reload, can I begin to like um put it away, then draw a different weapon? I'll let yeah. you draw it, but that's about it. You're not gonna okay. swing with it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put away my crossbow, I'm gonna whip out that uh that neat um He's gonna whip magic out sword. I take I, that I, back. I, uh, you could use your action surge. Um, action surge? What's that? Uh, you get on your turn. You can take an additional action on top of your regular action. Oh, okay. So I could whip out a, 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 like a different weapon and attack him with it. Yep, you can do it okay. once per day. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. Because we're probably gonna fast travel, right? So, um. Yeah, I might as well use it this round. So, yeah, I'm gonna whip out my uh, my new map, um sword, and I'm gonna attack him with it. Okay, uh, if you don't mind hitting control and clicking his icon, that way you, it's targeting him, and then roll your attack. Because then it does the match for me automatically. Uh, is that working for you? Yep. Okay. Um, I don't, in my weapons, I don't see the uh, the magic weapon. Oh, you wanted to use the short sword? Yeah, 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 the, the magic sword, short, yeah. Okay. I didn't. I didn't have it just yet set. Okay. Um, I can use my great axe instead. Give me two seconds here, and I'll add that short sword. Okay, that'll work. Strike him with my short sword. All right. Give me two seconds.
Okay, you uh, you hit with your you hit him with that. As you as you like sl as you slice him with it, you just hear the you hear the sword in your mind going, "Oh yeah, baby, get in there deep." No. <laughs> Yeah. As I hear that, my character trumpet deeper. All right. <laughs> it's your move, Tim Tom. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to like, turn to Shingen real quick and be like, do you think he's from the cult? <laughs> he's not wearing any pants. <laughs> And then I am going to try a deception real quick. And I'm going to call out to this big baby assassin and yell at him as his father would because he is acting like a fool. Okay, what are you going to yell at him? Be like, what are you doing, kid? That's enough. You're being Roll an intimidation. Bad. I get a worse roll for intimidation, so my deception. Let us check what he has. He drops his bottle. Hey, I didn't mean to be bad. Yes. <laughs> it's all right, son. And we're going to end combat there. <laughs> I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder and say, hopefully these young gentlemen with us will forgive you. I, uh, I kind of take my spear out of the diaper and hopefully, you know, get my spear back. <laughs> you, you got your spear back, no problem. He really wants to kill him. Are you guys okay with me trying to kill him still? No. I, I put my hand on your shoulder and just shake my head. No. <laughs> my character understands, but um, he uh, his grip is still white knuckled. Also, I reload my crossbow. Okay. You see the he looks looks at you, Tim Tom, and goes, "Daddy." Uh, yes, son. What is it? Oh my god. Mm, play? And he just lifts his arms up in the air. Oh god. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna... I'll, I'll, I'll try to pick him up. I'll do a strength check. Go for it. Oh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's decent. With an 11? I mean, you, you got him up off the ground. There we go. Kind of cradling him. <laughs> I want you to roll me dexterity, I guess? Oh, no. You would... You couldn't really do anything more because I was going to have you attempt to rock him to sleep, but apparently you can't do any more than just barely lift him. Oh, good. I, I was thinking the dexterity was going to have me drop it, and I'm like, man, I, could, I, I hope I can throw out a saving throw on this. Could I assist him? I mean, if you want to. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Strength save or just straight strength? Uh, strength, strength. Right. <laughs> All right. There you go. Between Tim Tum having the head and upper body and you having the legs, you guys get him up in the air, no problem. 
this is kind of a shitty situation. <laughs> Let's go put him in the cart. <laughs> <laughs> On my sled? Oh, we can put him in the sled? You don't no. mind if we take him? No. <laughs> no. That's for my loot I'm going to steal. I also want to make note. Uh, actually, while those two are holding on to him, Hedegaard, you make a perception check for me. Okay. Let's see here. Perception. Yeah. Did you see that? No. Nope. God damn it. Let's try that again. Nope. Okay. Oh, some of them show up, some don't. That's weird. Oh, there it is. Oh. Of course, yeah, the one that's see, super low. Fine. You just see the you just see the giant baby man. Everything's okay. Oh great! I don't think everything's okay now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, my character's done loading his crossbow. I assume so. I begin um looting the immediate area for anything of silver or gold. Okay. Uh. So we put the big baby man in the cart, or not the cart, but the uh, carriage. I don't. I, there's no carriage, so. No, James's yeah. carriage or Shingen's. Uh, that's uh, we gotta go outside, which I, I'm curious. How are you guys gonna do that? Oh crap! Right, right, right. I, I mean, also, we can, we can as try. you uh, as you guys are starting to like look around to start snooping stuff, Hedgar, do one more perception with advantage this time. Advantage perception. Ooh. You see smoke. Um, Lots of smoke. Okay, I uh I my character um sniffs the air, but like this isn't a normal sniff. Like you can clearly see his nostrils grow like super big like in an anime. He's like Do you guys smell something funny? As soon as you say that you give that you give Shingen, Tim Tum, and the baby man enough time to roll a dexterity saving throw. The baby man. I like that's how his I like that's how his name is known. Uh, baby man. Baby man. <laughs> Ooh. I got a I got an eight. <laughs> Tim Tum, you hear something crack and you jump out of the way, taking no damage whatsoever, while Baby Man and Shingen were kind of just left. You you kind of just dropped Baby Man. <laughs> no, not Baby Man. Die from that. Did he still have damage? his legs, not knowing what's going on, as a as like a column, as like a chunk of the roof just falls on you. Oh no! Dealing. Why is gravity my greatest enemy? <laughs> Eleven. Okay. Oh man, that would have almost killed me. Crushing the baby man. No. That's my character's happy. I was gonna use the baby man as like a tool once we get into that house. Oh, you know, oh make him a slave. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna use him like the kobolds, but obviously I was gonna let him die. Oh, damn. Unlike the kobolds. He is completely crushed to death. I kneel down <laughs> by the baby man's corpse and place my head on it. <laughs> Be like, so long, sweet summer child. I, uh, I have to pull myself out of the rubble and uh, <laughs> he like, I think we have more pressing issues than dealing with the baby man. <laughs> I look up what's happening. The house is on fire. It's funny because I was going, I was, once I went to the kitchen, I was planning on starting the house on fire. God damn it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Fuck this house. No, 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 I agree, but we should have looted it first. Well, yeah. Too bad. I mean, I mean, it caught fire no matter what. Yeah. Um. So, my, my character, I don't have to do a dex check, right? Nope, you didn't have to. But okay. Um, I'm actually going to give you guys a quick little bit here. Um, I need each person, um, between the three of you, you're going to make six different skill checks. 
Uh, explain to me how you're going to get out of this house and then try your skill. Wait, okay. uh, what do you mean how we get out of this you house? You get six chances to get out of this house before it burns to the ground. We can't just, we can't just go out the front door? No. Um, uh, Torrent and I, we were dicking around too much last time, and we stealed off the... Uh, the, the main door is next to us, yeah. So we have to break a window or something. How was Priscilla going to get us out of this freaking house? Hey, hey, we could always jump off a third floor balcony. I'm yeah. not or going just break the to the second floor you know, ever again. There. there are two ghost baby children things up there, and they are going to touch not. my butthole. And I'm not dealing with that. I have a magic sword. I can kill him, Marcus. Wait, um... How tall is my character? Like, like, am I able to um jump out a window? Fine, or do I have to put like a box down first and jump out? Uh, you never put down a height for your character, so. Okay, yeah, my character is like Gimli oh, size. Four point nine. Yeah. Four point nine. Okay, yeah, yeah, four point nine. I'm. I don't know why I'm surprised I'm still the tallest. You're because you're a lizard. Wait a minute! I thought uh the the the, the Torin was. I'm eight feet. Damn. Was it Torin? I know I'm it's like seven or something. I'm a smidge under Torin. Where the hell is it? Even. Well, I, I'm, I'm curious what you guys are doing now that the building's on fire. We're discussing oh, yeah. our heights. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have um, priorities. I know. Wait, um, we're down to five skill checks now. <laughs> uh, my character opens the door um, right behind me, and I try to jump out the window that's directly behind me. So I do this, right? Okay. And then I, I push I push aside um, the chairs. No, 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 actually, no, I don't push them. I just, like, shove the table along the wall, and then I, like, crawl over the table. And as I'm crawling over the table, I'm putting all the silverware and plates in like in a bag, <laughs> and then I, okay. I I leave the window. Yeah. Um, as you're trying to leave the window, um, those windows do have bars on them. Make me a strength check to see if you can break through them. Okay, strength. Let's see here. Its main skill is correct. Yep. Okay. They have like a C by it. Strength. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh no! Nice. No. Nice. No. So, you like plow into this window no. and just keep ramming it and ramming it. And through sheer force of luck, you've actually found a rusted bar and bashed right through it. Yes. Thank God. And you're able to find a way out. Okay. Um,. My character, uh, do I still have an action, or is that it for me? Uh, you, yeah, you guys can take a... Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to keep um, looting this specific room for, like, any valuables. All right. I'm checking right now. You guys already looted this room. Oh, we did? Okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. How much time do we have, exactly? Uh, with, six, with six checks, you have about... Roughly 30 seconds. Oh, nope. Forget that. Yeah. Yeah, I just take all the silverware that's like on this table and stuff, like all the plates and stuff, and then I just dip. Yeah. Okay. I'll perform the ceremonial lizard hiss, and I'll take a whiz on the house, and then I'll take off. I want to know what's ceremonial about this. You don't understand. You're not a lizard folk. Help me, help me, enlighten me. Fuck you. Can I jump out the window? <laughs> um, I? All right, Shingen, you're just jumping out? <clears throat> yeah, if he, uh, with a freaking, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to hop out. Okay. Uh, well, that everybody else made it out. Wait, um, can I can I um, interject for a second? Yeah, I'm the only person who got anything because Marcus never got his water skin back, did he? No, no, because I wasn't able to get the kitchen because <laughs> we got attacked by a baby man. Yeah, like um, because we could have asked the lady for things we wanted. I but... did. She told me to go to the kitchen. 
She kept giving me the same answer, even though I asked oh. all the people. Oh, okay. Just no asking. one of them was like literally there two minutes ago. So I think it's all horseshit. Okay. Well, my character's happy. He got a, a new sword. Well, I'm g I'm glad y'all are happy with your new sword, as the house you. that you guys were in is now burning to the ground. I, I was asking, did everybody else make it out? Like, Torin and anyone else that was potentially in there. You did not see anybody else leave. Damn. Well, Torin's but Torin was with us, you just never put his character back out. He was not in that room when you guys came back in there. Oh yeah, he was looking for a way out on, uh... Yeah, so he might have found a way out. Because he was, yeah. I mean, me and, Jane, me and Shingen don't know that. I mean, Edgar's going to have to tell us. True. Yeah. My character. Um, <clears throat> wait, Torrin's the uh, crazy bust at three, right? Yeah. 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 I informed them of my previous other lizard companion. Because my character thinks Torrin is one of those two guys. Because my. Mind my, my character's a dwarf, so he's kind of an asshole, right? When it comes to races, so he like he thinks he's one of those two. But he's like, are there three of you guys or two? Because we all just look the same, don't we? Yes, yeah. My character straight up says yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. No, uh, we uh, we had another friend who had armor and a uh, sword. Oh, that makes sense. Why he had armor and a sword, and you guys. Yeah, um, <clears throat> our, I, I have a, a geography question for the outside. Is it snowing by chance? It is snowing. Okay. Um. How how thick is the snow? It's kind of like a light dusting. Okay. Like if you can imagine what, like the normal Christmas movie. Okay. Okay. That's this is what Christmas time is supposed to be. Gotcha. Is this manor? Is does it happen to be on a, a hill or it is some on top sort? Of the hill. Okay. Um, my character says I have a sadly it'll be full of lizards and not loot, but this will make do. Um, we're like half dead. Um, should we rest here by the burning home, or should we just skedaddle? That's what I ask my um, companion. Nice. <laughs> As you guys are having this conversation, I'll have all three of you roll a perception. Okay. Wow, this person's terrible at stealth. Mm. You don't have to roll. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a nat one? They got a nat one. They, they got a nat one. They don't have. They're, they're not stealthing. Damn. <laughs> Where is she? Oh my god. Is it finally Lily? Do we figure out what's going on finally? Oh, I was looking under the wrong thing. Maybe if I looked under images instead of monsters. That would be good. That's pretty cool. Do you see this lady uh, starting to try and slink away from the house? Nice. <clears throat> I uh, pull out my short bow and shoot an arrow like at her feet. And I'm like, oh. I shoot my crossbow at her. Oh, jeez. You I shoot look, it at her? I look yeah. at her. Of you dumbfounded why you're randomly shooting at someone. My character assumes my companion Tum Tum is trying to shoot her to kill, so I also joined in. That's why I shoot at her. Uh, go ahead and both make a, I guess, attack roll. Okay. On the dirt? <laughs> her, uh, and this person's armor class, I guess. But I thought they both said they were shooting the dirt. I said I was shooting the dirt. Edgar shooting at her. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm shooting at her, yeah. 
Yeah. Do I have to roll two? Because I'm purposely missing. Uh, n- no, you don't have to. You don't have to roll. All right. But I am looking for. There we go. What'd you roll? Sixteen. Oh, damn. All right, you shot her right in the shoulder as she like falls over, wincing in pain. I'm gonna run up to her and kind of try to do a little uh, deception, being like, "Are you okay? I don't know why they shot you." Roll deception. Um, can my character also run up to her? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna ask for the bolt back. <laughs> Damn it, we don't even know who she is. Why did you shoot? She, like, looks at you, Shingen, and goes, You shot me. I did not shoot you. That is a crossbow bolt. I do not have a crossbow. Nor do I know how to use one. It would have... One of your group did? Okay, well, while they're talking... Yes! I'm going to use my stealth, sneak up behind them, and put, like, a knife to her throat and be like, it could be worse. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> you just my bolt back. She, she took, she stole my bolt. Roll, you rolled your stealth? Yeah, she I got She did not it. see you. She drops her sword. So your agents have scrawled them. Maybe, baby. <laughs> I intimidate her. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, I'm say, gonna play, I'm gonna I say, fork cop. over my bolt now. I'm going to play good cop, and I'm going to try to, uh, like, help dress the wound while they're, you know, trying to kill her. <laughs> what I, do you want uh, to roll to stabilize the wound? Uh, is there medicine in this? Uh, I had a kit at one point. I don't it's oh yeah there it is mess kit. I can just yeah, you. That's check or... what what kind of check do you want me to do? Yeah do you have a medical check on there or is there no medical on this skill oh, there is a medicine yep there's a medicine check. Well there with advantage since you have the kit mm. and then okay. burn the kit. Do I intimidate her? Wait a minute, the kit's going to get burnt? Why? Yeah. Because you're using the supplies in it. Oh, yeah, you intimidate her. She clearly Mm -hmm. thinks you're a strad. Okay. Yeah, I say, um, my bolt now, you bolt. That's what I say to her. I hand him the bolt because I just rolled. Okay. (laughs) On that metal. I reloaded my crossbow with that same bolt that hit her. <laughs> what do you vile people want with me? Why can't you leave me alone? I say, I say I want my bolt that I just got. And you just got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shoot, yeah. Shoot her again. I want my bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you're the one that burnt down the facility. My friends are a little angry about that. And this is Lily, guys, by the way. Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my character, um, his head turns up angrily and said it was you that started the fire. Yes. I wanted to loot the place. The hell's wrong with you? Because we didn't start the fire. <laughs> um, actually, with this this much of a reaction, I'm gonna make one more check. I mean, we got natties across the board. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. Insight. <clears throat> Insight. Me. Mm-hmm. Okay, insight. Let's see. That's what a skill. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn it. 
Two nat twenties. Uh, so, oh, so I'm going to give you this. Cancel. <laughs> High or low? High. That a boy. All right, this goes in your favor. Awesome. Okay. So she goes. I saw the bride of Strahd, and she, as she's talking to you slowly, she's reaching for that sword again, and you catch you caught it with the insight. I shot. I shoot her with the in the other shoulder <laughs> with my bolt. Rolled a hit. <laughs> okay. Is it um with the the the, the weapon? Uh, it should say uh, like a roll something plus. So let actually. him roll, but Shingen wants to try something. <laughs> wait, so uh, wait, wait, uh, which one is it? Is it under strength? Wait, what's going oh, on? No, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it accuracy or? Yep, it's oh, act oh, Okay. Wait, it says armor class. Oh, oh, actions. Oh, I see. So it's for. Um, okay. Damn. Yeah, let him roll, and then right. I want to try something. All right. So I'm not. I'm not rolling for damage, correct? Just for accuracy. Yeah, roll for accuracy first. Oh, Ooh. how. Now Automatic on. miss. Damn. Uh, when you reloaded that bolt, it had enough blood on it that it actually misfired, knocking the string of the crossbow off. So now you're going to have to spend uh, probably the rest, probably about half a day just fixing your crossbow because now it's broken. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I immediately ask her, my bolt. <laughs> it's not even in her. Uh oh, it's not. <laughs> wait, wait, um, did it, it, like, one, it broke and then fell down on the okay. Is it is it next to her? No, it, it didn't even like leave the crossbow. Oh, okay, never mind then. Okay. Can I um yeah. in your head you go in your head as the crossbow breaks, you hear from the short sword. Oh baby, come on. This is what happens when you use inferior weapons. You should use me. Yeah, I, for some reason, I loudly exclamate, yeah, you're right, baby. And then I try to whip out my short sword. And I, I think that's all I have actions for. I want to press my dagger close to her throat, like drawing a little blood and intimidate her. Okay, roll your intimidation. Why do you hate this girl? <laughs> she set a fire. Ah, oh, Damn. As you as you're pressing your throat knife against the throat, she goes, "Go ahead, just finish me already." What do you think, Shingen? Should I do it? I think you've all lost your damn minds when you listen to her. Do it. Clearly, she's the one that doesn't like ghosts and vampires. Kill her. Maybe you should kill her. Know who her name is before you try to kill her and assault her. She assaulted us first. Remember that. She this stole the bolt. Exactly what you and I were going to do, but beat us to it. <laughs> do you or do you not work for Strahd? About to. I say no. No, I do not. He has my friends, and I want to get them back. And I see you're wearing pants. She is wearing pants. <laughs> um, okay, so I need... Every, this is obvious to literally everybody. There is a dark foreboding shadow coming close, closer to your guys' group now. Okay. Is it the fog? <clears throat> it is not the fog. If you want to perception it, you can check. You can do a perception. Okay, all right. Uh, Mm 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. It's all up to you, Shingen. It's a black mass. Hold on. There we go. There you go. Mm. They're bats. Large bats flying straight toward you guys. They, I mean, they could be friendly bats. I'm having a fear and loathing in Las Vegas moment here. Hmm. My I'm character bats. says, uh... Bats. <laughs> my character says, I'm bats. The she-devil has summoned bats. I, uh, am going to preemptively... How close are the bats? Uh, they're... At this point, they're about 50 feet away. <clears throat> I'm going to stand Lily up and be like, what the hell are those? She looks at you just like wide-eyed, scared, and says, it's his minions. They're after, they're after me. Uh, Aren't you one of them? No. She grabs that sword and begins to run. Hold up. Wait, whose sword? Her sword. Oh, okay, I thought she took my new sword. I was about to be like, please. I'm going to shoot no. another uh, warning shot at her. Okay. Um, have you guys seen the third Lord of the Rings? Yes. Yeah. Um, so you know that you know that one part where Gimli tips the bow. So like, at first it was going to be a warning shot, but then he tips it in a way where it kills the guy. <laughs> Can yeah. I do that? Okay, I'm gonna try that. Uh, both of you guys aim. Both of you guys are gonna have to make a shot. Uh, your crossbow's broken, though, Headguard. Oh. Oh, Throws right. It. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> throws it up, Marcus. No, actually, no. I'm not gonna do that. That's lame. I'm sorry. I'm so gonna run after her. Oh, is uh, I'm I'm gonna grab my cart and run after her. Well, that's what I was gonna plan to do. I was gonna scare her and then throw her in the cart. Okay. Well, I grab I, my cart and I literally start booking it down uh, it, down after her and be like, "Wait!" I get on my sweet dwarven sled and say, "Smell you guys later," but I follow them, but much faster because it's a sled. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and now uh, you're being chased by bats. Let us see here. Okay. So wait, are the bats going after? So are the bats really going after her, or are these the bats that are going to transport us to that Raven Castle place? You don't know. All right. So do the bats actually? I don't know. Since, you know, I was thinking since Strahd was hiring us to find a Lily, that obviously means his bats don't know where she's at. They do not. So, yeah, we can hide her in our carriage, and while we're doing the one-day trip over to their castle, we can interrogate her. I like your thinking, Tum Tum. Did my shot like stop her from running? It did. All right. I'm, so I'm assuming with your guys' plan here, you you just as soon as she stopped for a second, you grabbed her and threw her in your in the cart, and then like throw a blanket over her or something, you know, so the bats can't see. Okay. So you guys did do that. What are you doing now? Oh, I just wait for the bats, I guess. She so you down for waiting for bats? Uh, I'm gonna keep trekking it. All right, Shingen's pulling the cart, so he's trekking it with her. Hey, I'm gonna hop Remember, out then and just wait for the bats and see what happens. I'm a monk and I'm not wearing armor, therefore I'm booking it quicker than normal. How how fast can you move? Uh, oh shit, I'm a 30, 40, 50 feet at this point. Okay. Because it's plus 10 movement damn near every single level. Jesus Christ. Oh no, excuse me, excuse me. That's not cumulative, so it's 40 right now. That makes more sense. Okay, you are gaining some good speed on this. Uh, head 
Edgar, uh, what are you, uh, as far as your, uh, as far as your, what are you doing? Since Tim Tum just jumped out and Shingens keeps moving, what are you doing? Moving them, but I'm rapidly catching up because I'm on a sled, and I imagine a sled, you know, in this terrain on uh, snow going like down an elevation, I'd be pretty quick. So I'm catching up to them very rapidly. Um, yeah. You know, my character is just yelling out insults to the woman. Okay. I'm actually going to give you the same speed as Shingen because he's actually moving way okay. faster than normal human would. Okay. Yeah, true. He's not a human. Yeah, true, true. I'm, I'm trying to get left behind, and the bats fly right past you. As everybody starts going through town, Lily says, um, Lily uh, grabs your shoulder singing, to the left here is my home. He can't get it. He won't be able to get an entry in there. <laughs> going left. <laughs> oh, that didn't come through as good as I thought it was. It's sideways. Yeah. Question. Um, how how long did it take us to uh, get back to town? Uh, you never left town. That that house was on the edge of town. Oh, okay, okay. So, gotcha, we, gotcha. Did Priscilla give us directions to? Uh... Nope. I oh tried, to ask you, but you guys went too quick. Yeah, we were being retarded. My bad. Yeah, I literally was trying to ask, and she faded out, and I'm like, "Well, fuck," because I was like, "And where do we go?" Oh, shit. Yeah, we still have rings at least. Okay. Oh, um, <laughs> can um, I want my character to sober up because my character has been like super drunk this entire time. Um, okay. Uh, can I just do that naturally, or do I have to roll? Roll me a Constitution. Constitution. You what should be that Constitution this entire time. <laughs> Much I got while you were drinking. Uh, is that um? I see it. There we go. Where did it go? You know, with the nineteen, you're you're sobered up. Okay. Yeah. Um, Your liver's doing its job. Okay. Um, have we stopped yet? Uh, they just stopped and went into Lily's home. Okay. Um, I open up the door. Well, I, I assume I'm following them, like, right behind them. So as soon as I walk through the door, I'm like, oh, hello, young um, young lady. Who are you? As you, like, walk through the door, she does not really, like, answer you. It doesn't uh. really I would, like, respond to you at this point. Okay, okay. Yeah, I brush it aside, and I introduce myself as, um, Hedegaard Strongarm. Yeah. Because my character was, like, super drunk and doesn't remember, like, attacking her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, gonna look outside and see what the bats are doing. The bats, like, flew by, uh, flew toward the buildings, but then flew off. Mm. I'm going to turn to her and uh, I am Shingen Tensou. May I please ask your name now that my friend is the right sort? She looks at you. Is breathing a little heavy. My name's Lily. This is Lily I. That's a lovely name, that. She, she looks at you, Shingen. Is your friend mad? <clears throat> no, I barely know him. I met him when we were all at the party. I'm assuming he has a uh, little trouble with the drink. I must ask you a simple question. Why does Strahd want you? She looks at you. And before she says anything, this man walks in. Is he a pretty man? I 
I want to meet Ismark the Greater because this dude's well, <laughs> pretty less. Man, I should have <laughs> locked the door. I should have locked the door behind me. Damn. <laughs> yeah, where's Diddy? He walks up and goes. So you got in trouble again, Lily? Yeah, she's like she bleeding kinda, profusely. She kind of just bows her uh, bows her head, not wanting to say anything. But you you can still see the blood dripping from the shoulder wound. I ask her, how did this occur? Who hurt you? You. You who, I say. <laughs> you, you fool. As in you did. You shot her. My character says, ah, that was you. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Hand slipped. Butterfingers. <laughs> Butterfingers. Everybody. <laughs> All right. As a. Uh, he comes. In, the man walks in. I'm Ismark. I'm Lily's brother. I. Uh, I apologize for any trouble she's caused you. Yeah, I say to him, you should watch her. She's a bolt thief. That one. She killed my son. She killed my crossbow. That's what I say to him. <laughs> Tim, you're not even in the house yet. I want you to roll me a survival to see if you can figure out where they went. Probably not. You're almost dead too, Marcus. I'm always almost dead. It's my life. <laughs> Ooh, 23. Okay, with the with the uh with a nat 20, you're like for some somehow you just like GPS. Can I just like yeah, and I just, like, pop out of the ceiling and be like, she killed my son. Yeah. <laughs> and she just looks like, what? You burned down... That... She burned down the house, correct, Lily? That resulted in my son's death. And the loot, I add. She looks down and... Sorry. I... Didn't know there was any adventurers in there. Oh, well, the next time you decide to commit mass arson, you actually scope out Sorry. the place first. It was the only thing I could think of to stop. Shit. You don't know what it's like. <clears throat> the way. So The king of this land. The monster. We have and faced plenty of monsters with... before. I doubt he is much different. <clears throat> what does he want with you? Ismark, like, looks... Looks at her. I... Honestly, we don't know. He's obsessed with her, though. He... There's been days where he just stands outside her window at night. Who on earth would want to hurt uh, uh, this poor creature? And she looks over and goes, not only that, anybody who gets close to me suddenly has fatal accidents. Ah, that's why is Mark is lesser. <laughs> <laughs> they have got him. Correct. Ruined his life, Marcus. Damn. <laughs> My father went to plead to Strahd. Wait, and for what? For him to stop stalking you? He's now dead. Oh, boy. But he had a note saying you can't stop true love pinned on his chest. Mm -hmm. Very my um, can my character um, walk up to her? Yeah. My character puts his arm no, no, not his arm. He puts his hand on the shoulder he wounded earlier. He puts his hand on that shoulder and says, don't worry. I will protect you.
Um, I guess roll a charisma, either charisma or persuasion. With disadvantage. I don't know how the f this happened. <laughs> but she believes you wholeheartedly. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So, Shin so Shingen, what do you think we're going to do about this simp lord? <laughs> <laughs> I think you would take Ismark the Lesser, dress him up as Lily, and use him as bait. Jail bait. Oh, yes. His pretty face will do fine. Ismark just looks... I don't want to leave this house. Well, obviously you did. You just came back. <laughs> came Damn. from the room. Oh no! What? Oh wait, did he? Yeah, he came in from like. Oh. He did. <laughs> oh okay, gotcha, gotcha. Lily's the one who's traveling outside, and Ismark like looks at her. I don't want her leaving either. Anybody who leaves this house this was, might as well be killed. You are less a man. Do I need to know my house? All you lesser. <laughs> Nobody said lesser. You guys are just insinuating <laughs> from the name on the thing. Okay, I um, I call him a lesser man. Do you know where any um smithies are around here? Shingen cough. <laughs> right here. <clears throat> right here. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, I ask him, can you repair a crossbow? I don't know. Can I? You can attempt. <laughs> Let me take I hand, I hand over my crossbow to him willingly. And I also pour him a flask of ale that I have on me. Uh, let me wait till I'm done. <laughs> Ismark's kind of just done with you guys at this point. <laughs> keep bullying him. <laughs> Lily looks at you. Look. The king is a monster. I don't know if you noticed around this town, but it's not very lively. There's an old lady selling pies. That's pretty lively. Sure. I last sure things may not be good, but what proof have you? Besides the ghost house. Well, I mean, there are spooky houses everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's a like common literally a monster. Like, just because a town's in a slump doesn't mean the king's a monster, per se. Yeah, the economy just could be bad. Yeah. He slaughtered so many people. There's the proof. This is slander. I mean, just got it. I think everybody wants to make Bulvaria great again, right? <laughs> So just go to the steel village, you'll see it. Well, where's the steel village? It's to the, it's to the west of here. Oh, no, oh, yeah. It was to the east, now it's to the west. Now, we're going to get there, and now it's going to be next to the north, and I don't know. Ismark like, looks and goes, actually, that's a good idea. Would you, would you three mind taking Lily to another village? Quiet, less man. We are making a plan. <laughs> Shinkin, the how about we take Lily to a new village? <laughs> I say, I keep out of this, and then I agree with Marcus, or I'm Tum Tum. Lily looks at you guys. I'm not leaving without bearing father first. Yeah, I can handle that. Oh my God. I also moonlight as uh, the uh, grave digger. Yeah. Ismark, Ismark like, looks around. Me. No. You can't go near that cemetery. We both know how much of a threat the Devil's Trot is. Let's go in the backyard. My character, yeah, my character says bury him in the backyard and be done with it. Like a, like a dog? Our companion here, Shingen Tensau, is an expert at burying bodies and praying for their... Good health. I don't know. <clears throat> Eternal rest. Yeah. That. I can... is only a block away. 
I would feel more comfortable. <laughs> Why are you going to, you going with the intimidation? Yes. What are you saying? <laughs> I need a second. What's that? Oh, I said I need a second. Um, oh, okay. my, my character says, the backyard will do fine. She begins crying and just shakes her head yes. What do you I'll say ask, is Mark? Why, why do you want him buried in a crypt? Because that's where the rest of the family is. Was. That's what it my character says. It does not matter where we lay our dead. It is as long as we put them to rest. You know, the goddess of death. Do I look like a priest? All three of you can make a knowledge religion if you want. I don't know these gods you speak of. <laughs> Tim Tom's the only one. <laughs> Do I look like a priest? Less man? Of course I know about the goddess god of death. So, Tim, tell me what you know of the goddess of death. Uh, the goddess of death is named Luna. Uh, she is the sister of the all-father, the rock god, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You also know that uh, all, all souls that leave the body, when they're buried, uh, that Luna has a way of transporting those souls back to her realm to comfort them until their rebirth cycle. You're not sure of how that transportation goes, because with your, like you said, you're not a priest. <laughs> And you also know that um, basically any kind of like anything that would stop that from happening is kind of an affront to her. Now, see here, less man, you ask us about if we know about the death goddess Luna, but as you can, but as I know, obviously you don't, as you are causing an affront to her as we speak. You will bury your father, as the goddess will transport his soul to her and will comfort it until his next rebirth cycle. You're doing more shame upon your family now than just burying him anywhere. Foolish less man. Lily like looks at you and goes, that's exactly where I want to get him to the tomb. So he can... Find safe travel. What? Shut your mouth. I just explained. <laughs> His yeah, my soul. character once again agrees. The backyard will do just fine. <laughs> we have a trained uh, monk funeral guy here. Monk. <clears throat> monk. monk. <laughs> He can deal with these funeral procedures just fine. He will find safe passage to the afterlife. I've been Let's there a few times already. And be done with it. He's right. I, I have traversed a little bit of the afterlife a few times. You've been dead before? As close as you can and come back from it, yes. Hmm. But not to the realm that you're thinking of, zombie or any other type of abomination. Obviously. I'm still very much alive. 
Fine. I'll accept his burial as long as we do it right. We can do it a different way when this whole matter is cleared up. But right now, as long as he is at rest and at peace, we can always put him in the crypt at a later date. You know, Father is trying to actually stop adventurers from coming anymore. Stop people from getting trapped here. What do you mean, trapped? Have you not noticed the fog? Of course. Have you tried to leave Barovia? Not yet, no. You guys actually have. Oh, we did? Yeah, right at the beginning. Okay, I tried right. to get Yes, and when we... Uh, but it uh, happened, it strangled you, you blacked out, and you ended up back at the forest. Oh. Never mind, that was them. Yeah, I don't remember that, so... <laughs> that happened? was almost a year ago, so, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so that's why we were blacked out. Well... While the demon Strahd lives, this will always be what happens. Gets a little upset at her. One moment you say he's a demon, and now, you know, one moment you say he's a monster, now he's a demon. Which is it? You change your story a lot for a fire starter and a bolt thief. I never stole any bolts from you. You just lodged it into my body. Your body took your it without. <laughs> any problem your shoulder took my bolt and you shot her without repping Kent <laughs> I find it harder and harder to believe that this short person is not with Strahd light up like a fire <clears throat> Who are you calling short? I'm a dwarf. Are you a racist? That's what I say to her. She looks at you and just goes, Dwarfs don't exist. Ma'am, look what's right in front of you. I see a short bearded man who's angry, who shot me. Yes. No proof, I say. He shot you, and he can do it again. Do you think There's Less proof. Man? Do you think Less Man is going to protect you? Less Man is too scared to leave his house. He is a coward and a fool. Is my crossbow um, done being fixed? He never let me roll for it. Never told. I asked him. Oh. He never had a chance to try and fix that. Oh right, right. Mm. So I mean, with tensions getting this high. I mean, I, I'm. We okay, are, you know what? We are doing a right, service here, Lily. We are willing <laughs> to bury your dead and honor their ancient rites. We are willing to hear your story about Strahd. You are unwilling to give us any heed and to trust us. You are a very suspicious individual yourself, Miss Lily, quote, quote, if that's even your name. Where's your father? Mark, I don't feel safe here, brother. He goes, I agree. Yeah, We're get out of your house, less man, if you don't feel safe. Oh, wait. The door. Yeah, I moved him to the door. You moved to what? <laughs> to block the door. <laughs> what? You need to stop bullying these people. Lily and Ismark both draw a sword. Ooh, we beat you once, Lily. What are you going to do now when you're injured? Put your... I'm going to roll for intimidation. Put your sword away now, knave. We beat you once when you were uninjured. We can do it again. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. 
At this point, they're actually just going to go into attack. Roll for a niche. Woo. So we're not gonna bury this dude, right? Um, I, uh, I, I give him my word. I planned on burying him. Oh, Two twenties. Damn. <laughs> Double twenties. Wow. Double twenties. Hmm. All right. I'm going to find us a battle map now because I did not expect this. They should have listened. The less man will die. <laughs> I really My like that. My character how... says, Ow. Oh, wait, you go, Marcus. <laughs> no, what was that? I was going to say, um, I'm going to try to talk to my teammates. We need to take Grin alive. Um, someone wants to see her. So did you say she that? Doesn't... Like, did you like scream that? So now she's like scared that we're gonna take her to Strahd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because um, yeah, my guy says we don't have to bring her in one piece though. Swingin', what do you think of these turn of events? I think you're all fucking crazy. <laughs> look, look, my character did escalate things a tiny bit, I agree. But she is very suspicious. Okay, she set a fire to a building, right? And then she, she steals stuff like bolts. I mean, where does it end? I plan on doing the same thing. Vampires and ghosts, man. Burn yeah. it to the ground. Yeah. Yeah, she seems pretty um, vampirical herself, I would say. I patched her up once. <laughs> oh, wait. Marcus, you're about to die. What will this less of, less of a man do? One is already injured, and the other one's a less man. That's true. <laughs> I'm so just out. Like, what just happened? Reasonable. We try to help them. Yeah, we we even were like, "Hey, we're gonna bury your dead for you," and they just wanted to yeah. find us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were gonna bury their dead. I even assured her that I would protect her. Now she's attacking us. Yeah, and she full heartedly thought you were going to protect her. Now she wants to attack you. Yeah. And also, she kept changing her story. Your first move. Did I get a free action? You rolled a 20, didn't you? <sighs> Natural. Go for it. House rules. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm... What's in front of me? Like, what's in the actual uh, room? Well, I'd say in the room, you guys didn't really make it past the entryway of this house. You're kind of like the mud room of the house. This is a giant ass house. Yeah, this is just a quick battle map. Okay. So I'm gonna <laughs> do an intimidation roll and I'm going to stomp my foot on the ground and tell everyone to sh sit down and shut the fuck up and put their weapons away. And that kind of crapped out on me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I need, if you, since you said everybody, I'm going to have everybody roll a wisdom saving throw. All right, Marcus, uh, Marcus, you actually put the weapon down. He's pissed. <laughs> As you say, Tim, Tim, you're going to you know. lose your first round. Damn. Fingen, you're going again. Okay. 
Uh, I want to try a persuasion to be like, do not listen to <clears throat> my compadres. They are both of the sort not in their right state of mind. It's a little better. Who is that directed to? Uh, Lily and Ismark. Lily and the West Man. Wow, all right. So, uh, Shigen, you got them both to put down their weapons. I'm going to, I'm going to position myself between everyone as kind of like the negotiator telling everyone to not be too hasty. We do not have all the facts yet. My character humbly agrees that we don't have all the facts yet, and... This is not the way. Only pieces. I never wanted the fight to begin with. They're the one that pulled the swords. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <sighs> Can we just leave? Where are you gonna go? <laughs> no, it's snowing out, I say. It's warm in here. <laughs> Our friend Tum Tum is gravely wounded. We should see to no. his wounds. We'll leave. You can keep the house. Sweet, thanks. Where's the deed? It's in Father's study. <laughs> thanks. And Why did you to leave so quickly when you did not want to leave originally? Was it because of these two? What choice do we have? You're clearly trying to... I don't know what you want from us. We want answers! And I bang my hand <laughs> on the table. <laughs> We're telling you everything we know. We try You're to be... lying. That's what I say. That's what my character says. And, and he kicks over a chair. The non-existent chair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kicks the air. <laughs> he, he, he pretends to kick the air. There's a man half my size kicking at the air. Oof, oof, oof. My character asks um, <clears throat> Lily one thing. Where is this stray or straw you're so afraid of? What direction is he in? He's in Castle Ravenloft. And where's Castle Ravenloft? What yeah, my direction? character says, I asked you one thing, which direction, and you did not answer that. You gave vague answers. She said to the northeast. The northeast. That's all we need to know. Well, thank you. Now, do we... I, I, I shoot some looks at Tum Tum and... Wait. At Tum Tum and Shingen, and I'm like, do we take her to Strayed? Uh, I'm going to step up to her and be like, ma'am, this is your house. Do not abandon it just because of the pariahs or because of the perusing of some knaves. Stay in this place, rest through the night, it's snowing, and if you still want to leave in the morning, go ahead. We'll look after this place and we may meet up with you or not. Fine. I'm trying to save my friends who unfortunately are at that castle and we do not know the full situation here. And until we do, it depends on what we will choose to who to benefit. But at least stay the night so you do not go out in the storm. Am I, in, am I in stealth? Why are you rolling for stealth? Oh, you did a 16? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Ismark doesn't see you, but Lily does. Okay. <laughs> the last um, man can't see. Which which room leads to their father's um? <laughs> <Still deep>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, you're going to just start going around their house? <laughs> no, I'm going to try to steal that deed. Okay. You realize if they're leaving tomorrow, we can just get it, right? Well, they may come back. This is going to be my new home. Yeah, you may have convinced <laughs> them to stay in the house. Yeah. Like, I worked hard to intimidate them, and then you gave them hope. All right. Well, you're go you're slipping off to go to the office. Anything else you you want to say to him? <laughs> it just appears off screen. <laughs> um. At this moment, I know emotions are extremely high. You're scared. You've been attacked. It's late. You've lashed out. You've been accosted by individuals you just met who are now trying to lend their hand of hope. Do not be so quick to judge. However, let me at least help you in this. Please show me to your father. And actually, on that note, we're gonna call. We're gonna. I'm gonna say you guys are gonna get a full rest. And we're gonna call it there. Fading out as as you're being led to the dad's corpse. <laughs> I'll show you how stealthy a dwarf can be. <laughs> um, I won't lie, did not see that coming. Off the rails on a crazy train. <clears throat> I'm trying to play my character better, not just go with the craziness. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie. I, I enjoyed the ba the the di giant diaper baby. <laughs> Killed my son. <laughs> yeah, at first I was very sad. No, no, I'm sorry. I was very angry. But when he died, my character was like, "Oh man, I kind of liked him." <laughs> we were we were cradling him to sleep. We were going to take yeah. him. Over. He was going to become a part of the team, like the cobalt. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Some random zombie ass uh, ninja. Man. <laughs> I, I should have picked up his bottle. Oh, oh we uh, Man. could have had his memento. <laughs> yeah. Something his bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Will my character get that deed, or is that going to have to happen next time? You will see. Okay. Good, good. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs>